Hello everyone, today we are going to see one of the most beautiful internationally recognized picture galleries, the Wallace Collection in London, a place not to miss, so let's hurry up! <laughs> Well, to those new to the channel, I'm Marina Witkina, artist, collector and art researcher. And it's my pleasure welcoming you today at the home of the most charming and exquisite art collections in the world. It is really a true home for the pictures. The Wallace Collection is displayed in a domestic setting, the main London townhouse of its former owners, Sir Richard and Lady Wallace. Sir Richard's father, the fourth Marquis of Hatworth, was largely living in Paris and was an avid art collector himself. And when in 1871 his illegitimate son Richard decided to return to London, he took all his family collection of paintings with him. And that's why the core part of this outstanding museum is taken by the 18th century French masterpieces. Actually, that's my favorite epoch, so let's finally go and have a look at it. The superb works by Watteau, Greuze, Boucher and Fragonard are not only undisputable treasures from the artistic technique standpoint, but as a rule are all crystal clear in their background history. Richard Seymour Conway, the fourth Marquis of Hertford, was especially meticulous when it comes to excellent condition and spotless provenance. Apart from the famous French collection, there are also particular masterpieces by, for example, Titian, Haas, Rembrandt, outstanding artworks by British artists, plenty of divine Sir Joshua Reynolds among them, and of course stunning pieces by Spanish geniuses of Murillo and Velázquez, whom became a starting point for what's now called to be the exhibition of the year, El Greco to Goya, in a collaboration with the Bose Museum. So, if you happen to be in London by 7 January 2018, don't miss up this opportunity to see this truly unprecedented exhibition. Well, my friends, actually this museum has one important feature which is so rare these days and which I personally value the most. It has a certain look and feel of a living home, if I may. Because at those good old days, art paintings were initially made to please the eye of the owner to create the atmosphere of the house and not to immediately take its place on sometimes bland and cold museum walls. And here you are a guest of this collection, feeling yourself at home. Well, my friends, thank you for being at this art venue tour with me tonight. We'll be happy to meet you again for another fascinating journey, so don't forget to sign up and see you all very soon. Bye-bye.